deal with stress because stress is no bueno. I want to start off by telling you why stress is no bueno. Stress can give you so much negative effects on your body. It can bring you pimples, it can lose your hair, you can like maximum, you can get headaches. Like health wise, like stress is not good. And I'm here to tell you five tips that can help you manage it. Tip number one, don't stress over things you cannot control. We're gonna take the problem. Everything there's something. If there's something that's stressing you out, I want you to take the problem and say, "Is there something that I personally can do that can change this?" And if it can't, if there's nothing I can do, then I ain't gonna worry about it. I'm not. And if there is something that I'm gonna do that I can change about it, I'm not gonna stress about it. Still, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a solution. A solution is your solution. Like, stop stressing out. And if you can't fix it, you fix it, and that's it. Tip number two. I want to give you guys a tip to start being more grateful, okay? Start thinking about things in a more positive way than a negative way. And this can help out with stressful events. For example, if you realize that you're overstressing for something, take it back a second and say, okay, I'm grateful. Realize what situation you're in and realize the things that you are grateful for and the things that if that wasn't happening, even if that thing is happening, you still have this. And that's what I mean, look at the cup halfway full, not halfway empty. That's what I mean by taking a situation and saying, does it really worth me stressing about that? Or instead of me stressing for that, can I be grateful for what I have? Can I be grateful for this? Even though I don't have that or that happened, I have this and this happened. And that's what I want you to start thinking about. Tip number three. Okay, so when handling with stress, the next thing I want you to do is start taking time for yourself and this is more when you're overwhelmed with life you're stressed about life in general this is not a specific situation but this is something where you can't take it anymore you have so much going on this tip is really going to help you you need to start taking time away for yourself time where you're getting away from all that stress getting away from your overwhelming life it doesn't matter what it is Everybody likes different things. You might like walking, you might like running, you might like reading, you might, whatever it is, take it for yourself. Even meditating, anything, take it for yourself and step away from all of that. Step away from what's making you overwhelmed. It's okay to be selfish sometimes. It's okay to spend time for yourself so that you can like, almost like, it's almost like giving your brain a break so that you can let go of that stress almost see it at another point of view also like stepping away from it also not thinking about it also opens your mind to different aspects okay so do it step number four okay step number four is simple it's that whenever you feel yourself stressing out or you see stress can bring anxiety i've dealt with that whenever you feel like you're stressing out and you're becoming anxiety and you don't know what to do you're coming anxious and you don't know what to do take a step back Drink a glass of water, breathe in and out, and tell yourself, I'm not gonna let myself stress out about this. No matter if you can't control it, if you can't control it, that's tip number one. This is just any situation, you're feeling stressed, you're feeling anxious, step aside. Step, take, give me, if you're talking to someone, give me one moment. Drink water, take a deep breath, do it. Because then you're gonna realize, you might react right away for some reason, and you might realize in your head that this is not a big deal. This is not something I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm gonna let my body get affected. This is not something that's gonna stress me out. This is not something that's gonna give me a headache. I'm gonna find a solution, I'm gonna take it step by step, and that's what I'm gonna do. No stress involved. Allow it to take a step back. Remember, take a step back, drink a glass of water, and breathe. Tip number five about stress. <laughs> this one is almost like a combined one for all of them, and that's why I leave it for the last, is that Handle stress the best way that you can, find it in yourself, and realize, you need to start realizing that it's not worth it. 
Stress is not worth your time. The anxiety, the sweats, the pimples, the mind games, everything is not worth it. Take the step, the tips that I gave today and take this tip of allowing yourself to realize in your mind that stress is not worth it. And take all of it, combine it in one, and you're gonna have a better life because stress is overpowering, overwhelming, anxious, all that kind of stuff, all that negative stuff. And like I said before, when you have negative and you pile on, the more negative you're gonna see and the more negative you're gonna think. You have to start thinking positive. You have to start thinking about that it's not worth it. Do the tips that I tell you, follow them. And that was five tips with Mandy about stress. I want you to guys pay attention to me, listen to my consejos, my tips, and just hear me out. I'm just here to help you guys out and try it. Take one day of just trying that out and tell me how it works. It's easier said than done, but every step is one step closer to your goal and to making it be the better person that you want to become.